so this Invincible is interesting. This is this is Brian actually told me about this like last April. Yeah, it's been a while. For people that don't know, uh, shout out to Ultra Maximus. He just named it. Um, one of my favorite all-time comic books, characters, everything is Battle Pope. I own original art, a lot of original art from it. I own the cover to issue five. Um, oh. I, I love this series, especially the Funkatron copies, which for those of you guys don't know, Battle Pope was the very first uh, comic stuff from two major creators, Robert Kirkman and Tony Moore. And they self-published Battle Pope, Battle Pope through their own publishing company called Funkatron. And uh, they did multiple books within the Battle Pope series. They're all numbered like in one series and then in mini series. And there's a mini series after like I think it's like this is considered issue 13 of the total yeah. series. But there's the the mini series is, uh, is called Wrath of God. And some of these are really hard to find because they were self-published. Um, there isn't that very many of them. This is later in the run. Uh, you know, usually you see the first four. The first one's hard to find. Any of them are hard to find in good grade. And um, this was like their first stuff. And you see a lot of really cool early, early, early creator stuff from a lot of people that they were involved with. I think John Boy might have some early stuff in here. Or somebody like John Boy or Kirkham or somebody like that. Um, has some early stuff in it. So, but yeah, this is on the back of Battle Pope Wrath of God from Funkatron. So, and, yeah, so there's a lot of talk of previews. Yep. Because this book is, is famous for its previews. So, just to run the dates, Savage Dragon 102 is listed at the first. I, I don't know if it actually came out in that order. You know, things get a little confusing, but it has a, a shelf date of, I'm sorry, of August 2002. So, that at least from shelf date, is the earliest. We've got Tech Jacket 1, the first series, Masters of the Universe 1, um, which had several variant covers, and G.I. Joe 12 from the Devil's Due run that are all cover date of November 2002 that have the same preview for Invincible. Hold on, is it a, is it a preview story or just... It's a preview in the end of the book. It's like three pages. Kind of like Walking Dead had the preview in capes and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. And now this is a little different. It's actually just an ad on the back cover, but because it is basically the cover, it's kind of cool. And it's got a shelf date of October 2002. So it's prior to three of the previews after the Savage Dragon, I guess. I don't think it's going to make you a fortune, but it's kind of cool. And if you're an Invincible fan, it's an easy kind of You'll probably find it cheap if you find it. And it, the Funkatron book is a, is a big thing too, because you're getting yeah. it. You know, that's, you got to remember how what what that is, and, and if you like comic book history and stuff like that.